Hi there, welcome back to Good Sif Keeping. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about this little miniature office that I recently completed. And this was actually a gift that I received for my birthday. It's a little miniature DIY kit that you can buy on Amazon. And I'm really into building miniatures lately, but I am not confident in making things up myself yet. And so I've been doing these little kits just to kind of get familiar with different techniques and tools and things that I can use to build things like this. Hopefully my next project um, I will not be using a kit for, I'll just be able to build from scratch, but that seems really ambitious, so we'll see. In the meantime, um, I did have a lot of learning opportunities when I was putting this together, so I wanted to go over a few tips and tricks that relate to that. One thing that you should know is that this kit does not come with everything you need. And so really you could get away with putting it all together with just a few basic tools. I ended up investing in a few additional things just so I made it easier on myself. But you can see that this particular one is, it says Amazon only, but I was able to find it on the website here the robotime.com and I'll show you the different pricing points if you order from Robotime versus Amazon. With Amazon Prime it is $26.99 and free shipping. Through Robotime it's $31.99 plus shipping. But it tells you right here that the main materials included in this kit are wood, fabric, and paper. Now I can tell you a lot of this is paper. Since I've already done this, this is not a brand new unboxing, but what's really cool is a lot of these things are what I have left over. So I can use some of these parts and pieces on future projects, and that's really exciting. Um, all these different fabrics and little couplings, wire, rope, some little plant features. This one's pretty cool. It's like a little insulation metallic sticker tape. But the most important thing, you can pretty much ignore the rest of the video because I'm going to tell you that this here is the most important thing of any kit. Of the kits that I've done so far, it turned out that these were invaluable. And so I call it the little map, but it's really just your part number, like materials list. And it shows you when you're in the book, there, these numbers will be correlated to pieces in the book. So for example, put together one of these, the little filing cabinet here, it tells you that you need a 14, 15, a 16, and so on. All those numbers correlate right here. And in addition to that, the pieces fit perfectly. Now other kits I've seen, that's not necessarily true. In this case, it is real, like actual size. That's really handy when you're dealing with some of these little pieces that, you know, especially these here, those look like they're similar sizes and you could very easily build something the wrong way using the wrong pieces if you're not paying attention. So whenever you get any of these new kits, make sure you look for this little guide first. Um, in, depending on the brand, they may look a little different, but hands down, this is the most important piece of the kit. You can see these are all the pieces. They give you a couple extras of some things, but not everything. Um, here are some leftover pieces of like little 
pieces that went with the laptop, some pictures. These were little planters. So I didn't short the kit in any way. Um, these were just the extras, just in case you overcut something on the main pieces. Especially these little plants. They were so easy to tear because they're so tiny. I mean, I don't know if you can really tell, but looking at my thumbnail, that's how small Sonia's pieces are. It does come with this glue. I did not use this glue. I ended up using other craft glue, but in a lot of places I had to use super glue. Um, and that's really kind of personal preference. My problem with this type of glue is that it's very wet. And when you're dealing with paper products, you have to kind of be cautious, otherwise they start to wrinkle. And you can see that in some of the pictures of my kit. Like here, for example, you can see the wrinkling. Oh no, <laughs> there goes the off to the iPad. Um, you can see the wrinkling along this edge here and on some of the rugs. Uh, there's like other little paper pieces that got damaged by having the wet glue. So having super glue will help things go together faster for one. So you don't end up with like all these pieces laying around wet trying to um, trying to dry. That was another complication that I had with this was just having the space to be able to kind of put things together and then let them sit so they could dry. Super glue is much faster for that and it tends to bond different materials together better. That is one thing like the little lamp here is so many different materials. You've got like this sort of plastic piece here, these metals here, this wire. So all these different components don't necessarily stick together very well with normal glue. So I had to use super glue for things like that. One thing that I picked up from Amazon that ended up being very helpful was this little kit. It comes with a couple of files. Um, the the wire cutter this I use all the time and it was nice because I didn't have to steal my husband's wire cutter but a lot of the tiny components in the kit are made with wire and including like the door handles on the French windows the the lamp that I showed you that's just a pen <laughs> um, you also have this smaller grit file and this was really good for taking off the edges on some of the filing cabinets and boxes and things and it came with two types of tweezers these are they don't have a lot of spring to them but they were good for holding things in place while I was trying to put small things together and these needle nose ones were even better for like super tiny details and placing things together. And of course the craft cutting utensil. See a little exacto knife here. This I use probably as much as I use the tweezers. So all in all, I will show you the link for where I got this on Amazon. I, I think it was maybe $10, but definitely worth every bit of the investment. Some of the other things I think worth mentioning. Normal craft scissors, these worked really well for most of the paper things, but like those tiny flowers that I was showing you earlier, or the tiny plants, I ended up using these a lot more for those small details, because you could really just get into the nooks and crannies, and it made working on tiny things a lot easier. I would also recommend in investing in a few of these of different sizes. These came in really handy when I was working on the plants. Um, the, the plants have the, it's like a wire with paper, like you're gluing paper to the wire. 
and it's very hard to prop them up so that they line up nicely and don't like fall off. So I was able to put like the stem in here and then kind of, you know, prop those like that and dry the glue that way. There were a lot of little pieces that I needed to just sort of prop up in the air so that they could dry without being like on a surface. So this says here that I was supposed to have a battery included in my kit and I did not. Um, so we ended up having to, luckily we had these on hand. Ikea sells these in, you know, a pack of eight and we just happened to have these. So I was able to use battery from this to put this together. Now, this is my second kit that has had some electronic components to it. I had to have my husband help me out with this one because the wires are so tiny that they really don't go together very well just by hand. And so he ended up having to solder the pieces together for me as well as putting the lamp together while doing that. I think it could be done without a soldering iron, but I think that we increased the stability of the electronics by doing it that way. And that's it. Just the one little light. And you can see that the I had to run the wire across the top here and down through here. This little box you create for it. Um, since we're looking at the side, you can also see here's my little wire handle. I love the amount of detail that they put into the kit, so it's really quite adorable. Here is the consolidated list of the items that I recommend for you to have on hand if you're going to be putting together any of these sort of DIY miniature kits. I also want to mention that I did use these magnifier glasses when I was working on the especially tiny items. I don't think it's a requirement to do the kit, but for me, it certainly made the job a lot easier when I was dealing with extra tiny items. The rest of the video is just close-ups of the little details in the mini office. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel, and hopefully we'll be able to make more content like this. Thanks so much, and have a great day.